What is going on guys? I am back out at the park and I got something pretty exciting. Got my hands on a new Dismania Neo Mutant thanks to my buddy PJ. Thanks man. Um, these things are insane. If you haven't made yourself familiar with this disc yet, Dismania calls it the cyber truck of discs I believe. It's a crazy mid-range with all straight edges. Uh, 5304 is the numbers they gave it. And so far, that seems pretty accurate. So what I'm gonna do today, uh, I'm probably not gonna talk a whole ton, but I've got a whole set of other approach discs, similar approach discs. I'm gonna put them forehand, backhand, throw some annies, and just show you what this thing's capable of. Uh, having played a couple rounds with it in the last couple days, I'm impressed, it made my bag immediately. Kind of a in between, between my normal approach discs uh, and my mega beefy moonshine justice. So let's get out there throwing them. All right, for starters, that tree straight ahead is at 271 feet. It doesn't really look that far, but it is according to my Bushnell. Uh, I'm gonna start with a 750A2. This is what I was bagging uh, up until last week, uh, or up until this week, really, when I put this mutant in the bag. So I'll start with it backhand, aiming for that tree straight ahead. Next up, I've got a Glow KC Pig. This is a Rick Pig with a different stamp. Swirly MD5. Regular Lucid Justice, this is a fresh one, only had a couple throws on it. Ooh, shank. Paul Macbeth, four time stock zone. This is that new Moonshine Justice that is my new beefcake slot. This thing is ridiculous. Recommend these too, but that's an entirely different video. Big skip. All right, and now the Mutant. It's, uh, again, it's a wild rim, a lot of sharp edges, but it's oddly comfortable both forehand and backhand. It just kind of fits in the slots really easily. So, big fan of it so far. So yeah, definitely meaty. You can tell right away that really the only disc out of that bunch that was more stable was that Moonshine Justice. Otherwise, it is an absolute hog. Okay, gonna throw these on some forehand kind of approaches. I'm not gonna try and mash these because my forehand forearm gets even worse when I try and mash them. So I'm gonna throw these as I would use these discs for kind of 150 to 200 foot approaches, sometimes as low as like 80 feet, but I'm gonna try and get them out close to the same landing area there, uh, just to show kind of how these discs shine. The wobble standard for me. That wasn't it. And then the mutant. Where you going on the tree? Okay, gonna try for some kind of softer ante pans, kind of a very typical forehand approach shot for me. Uh, again, obviously my forehand isn't great, but I would guess most of the people watching's forehand's not great either.
Yeesh. It's a stable frisbee. Also, very stable frisbee. So I am super hyped on this disc. I fell in love with it immediately. It just fits really nice in the hand, even though it's got this weird shape. Uh, got a kind of great high-end stability uh, that for me fits perfectly in my bag between my less stable Justice and my more stable Justice. Uh, I think these are awesome discs. I think uh, the hype is real for these. The hype is warranted for these. Definitely recommend you guys check them out.